What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of your favorite podcast, AI Stole My Job But Not My Whiskey, with your hosts, Robbie Redundant and Charles Codes No More. Yeah, no, I, I'm now <laughs> Chuck AI. I just yeah. introduced bugs to your code, code base. Nice, nice. So like the real one. Yeah, we do have a, a real special guest with us today, though, Ken Wheeler. What's going on, Ken? What's happening? Be careful, you're going to give this guy an ego. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. World famous. I would say introduce yourself, but I feel like everyone has heard of you. But if you point. want, you know, well, get I've a, been a on the show before, so if they watch yeah. it, they're familiar. So yeah. 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 Hey everybody, welcome back. Yeah. Part What's two up? of Drinking with Ken. So what are we drinking today, Chuck? Oh yes, I guess I should do that. What are we drinking? It's an orphan barrel. Sorry, I need one second to look this up. I hadn't what? memorized it. Orphan barrel. Orphan and barrel. I, will, I will explain that in a moment. Orphan barrel. Castle barrel used to have parents. All right. I'm going to try this the third time. <laughs> orphan barrel. Castle's Curse. Single malt scotch whiskey. Aged 14 years. 94.8 proof. Has a mash bill of, of course, 100% malted barley. And the uh, only other info I could get was matured in European oak barrels. So hmm. there's that. I in European oak barrels. <laughs> yes, <laughs> also. Yes, you're like a fine wine. Many, y- your apartment smells of rich mahogany. And leather yes. books. Yeah, exactly. I have many leather bound books. <laughs> I don't read them. Anyway, so the earthen barrel thing is a thing that... Uh, Diablo Spirits is the like conglomerate overall, and it's a whole thing where they were going and finding like these long, kind of forgotten barrels, but there really wasn't enough of them to like do a whole run of them. And they were like, "Well, that's okay. Say there's only I don't know ten or twelve or something of this. We'll do like a real short run. We'll do some cool marketing around it." and put them out there. And they were doing like some overaged bourbon. They've done all kinds of like random whiskey, like all kinds of different whiskeys. So it's a like, we're going to do this one time. It's one shot. We can't produce more because we found these stashes all over the world. So if I end up liking this. Yes. Buy all you can. Yeah. Because it'll, it'll go away. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So it's kind of the fun thing of it. The label, which I don't have in front of, uh, in front of me, is very interesting. It's like some kind of mm-hmm. like aquatic looking ghost horse castles cursed of the ghost horse but it also looked a little like God, my, they're coming out of the waves oh, yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah today's episode up, like, what the fuck is this yeah yeah <laughs> we sent you so wait we sent you that and uh this episode is brought to you by ken's bag of dicks.com no i didn't send you bag of dicks but I was going to say, I didn't get the bag of dicks no no i can't wait to someday surprise you with them though and hear about it yeah. No, I'll, I'll fucking eat the entire bag. <laughs> On camera. That's right. Okay. Individual, one at a time. Yeah. Black currant and bergamot. Bergamot. Does, can anybody even really describe bergamot? Yeah, fucking orange. But like fancy orange. Mm. I've always thought of it. Am as, I wrong? No, no. no. I, think that's, I think that's very good. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. See? Called out and shown the door. I get a little vanilla, though. I'm a simple man. Vanilla it is. Almost like uh, those chocolate oranges. I smell a little of that. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's Ooh. very stingy. Whoa, yeah. It's quite it's stingy. Yeah. Hey, when did you un- say that man again? I remember you told me last time. I don't know. Like stingy, you were like, like the burn on Woodford or Makers. Uh, oh, you yeah. said that like the it's like higher alcohol content or it's like some shit like that. I mean, that's part of it. The proofing is a little bit of it, and sometimes it can really like tingle you just based on like you know how woody it comes out or how much of the wood and kind of spiciness it gets. Like burn is alcohol to a degree, but then. I don't know what I was shitting on. I was probably making it up, Ken. You realize, like, <laughs> here I am. Now I'm busted on two things. You know what bergamot is, and you call me out on my bullshit. I can't repeat it. It's almost peppery. Yeah. And There's that, something in the spice that's not pure, like, just alcohol heat. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. 
Yeah, I'm getting like a bit of liquid smoke with the finish too. Like very smoky, but like in a concentrated way. Yeah, I can't believe I'm still getting those tingles on the front. I, I also have an adjacent bias from a cool mint Zin, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might be getting some extra burn out of that. <laughs> some flavor notes we're unfamiliar with. That's yeah, I'm going to say, ooh, okay. All right, a little bit, a small bit in the beginning that's like a Wooster sauce. Wooster sauce? Yeah. You mean Worcestershire, as we say in Freedom Land? Worcestershire. Mm. But it's Wooster. You know, that's a town in England, and they pronounce it Wooster. Isn't that how they pronounce the shit in uh, Massachusetts as well? Is that in England? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're like, Worcester. And what's the other one? It's, um... Uh, well, there's the one that's like Woburn, but it's like Wooba. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of them where like yeah, they just like, skip like, a lot of sil- phonetically. <laughs> yeah, you just skip like whole syllables. <laughs> like, what's the fuck wrong with this guy? Wooster there, fix your radiator. I don't no, know. What, what's the one? It's like it's a it's a Gloucester. Gloucester, it's like, Gloucester. It's like Gloucester. Mm. Yeah, no, it's Gloucester, a, but it's yeah. Gloucester. Yeah. If you were to just read it and like think you can pronounce English things, there's a cheese, <laughs> a Gloucester cheese. Actually, it's quite good. Hmm. And as a, it's Gloucester is like an overarching kind of like stinky cheese, but it looks more like cheddar. And there's a specific one that is Cotswolds. That's really good. Do you eat cheese with drinks? I would. Yeah. yeah I like cheese. I'll eat cheese yeah. with or without with anything. drinks. But I, I like a pairing. If you tried yeah. to pair cheese and whiskeys, I think that would be fun. I've done it with chocolates yeah. before. I have a a hot take for you. Well, like, kind of hot. Drop it. Like, what's the difference in yellow cheddar and white cheddar? You know, or you're... No, I don't. I, this is a discussion because cheddar is dyed artificially yellow. Right. So is white cheddar just without the dye and they're the exact same flavor? I would think. I mean, I is that like American enzymatic. cheese? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like what it makes could be. what makes Gouda yellow? Isn't well, Gouda some s- cheeses are naturally yellow, and I know the science behind this because cheddar used to be naturally yellow when they used like high quality creams, and they started taking all the fat out to make like butter and cream and like mm. other stuff, and then using like shittier milk, and so they just dyed it back yellow so that it would like. So we're not even getting the original yellow. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Did you You're guys getting- ever see like? what food used to be back in the day like how like corn was like literally shit and it sucked <laughs> and like <laughs> carrots looked all ratchet yeah Did you guys yeah see that thing? we've that, changed that it a I lot was like, what the yeah. fuck dude like <laughs> yeah we had to so what is it that changed it is it like genetic like modification and, yeah. yeah gmo yeah but i don't think it's really gmo like, i think a lot of like selective breeding shit gets like yeah put on gmo and actually it's like yeah and yeah. to a degree you just grow the one that's grows better it's fucking unbelievable of the shitty if, if you're like if you got like hundred year plans here yeah the kind of shit that you can do like like i look at my dog right it's a french bulldog mm. and i'm like i can't fucking believe you used Attracts. to be a wolf <laughs> <laughs> and like we but did yeah, that frenchies on would purpose. die in the wild you can't even they don't can't they almost be die born. regularly they have to they're be like c-sections yeah. and like fucking like how will you yep. yeah it's like yeah they're those like luxury dogs that were kept alive by you know generations of aristocrats or something yeah they like sat on pillows and shit and they like fucking yeah and snorted cheese. gracefully they, yeah they got the <laughs> real yellow cheese <laughs> yeah all right oh, hold on let's regress a little bit and come back to our whiskey friend here just to go through the motions on rating I mean, can you, you, you are an avid listener. You probably know the rating by heart, the rating system by heart, but I'll go ahead and take it for you. Yeah, zero to, <laughs> yeah, zero to eight tentacles, zero uh, because we're all former software engineers mm-hmm. and zero being horrible. You just, you probably would have spit this out for middle of the road with your other whiskeys and uh, eight amazing. I must have more, but only as much as they produced. And of course, I won't put the onus on you as the guest to go first. So I will do that to my gracious. Did I go first last time? Well, that's because Robbie's a jerk. He made you go first, but I'm nice. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make him go first. You see? Yeah. All right. Um, 
Oh man, I don't love scotch. We all know that, but um, this one is not terrible. I would <laughs> drink it. It is nowhere near as good as the Muckety Muck. Okay, but that one is much more expensive. It's like a what twenty six years old or something. Yeah. Um, this one feels like way younger than it says it is. Like fourteen is what they advertise, but I think that like I've had a four year old American whiskey that tastes more aged than this. Mm. Which might be on purpose. I don't know. Anyway, all that to say, not super impressed for the price point, so I'm going to give it a five. Mm. I don't even know how much it costs. How much was this it's one? It's like 100 150 something like that. 150 wow. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Don't worry about it. We'll get it back in spades in Miami. Get you a little drunk. <laughs> passing shots around. It'll be, yes. it'll be it's fine. It's going to be good. Yeah, it is. It's going to be right. good. Yeah. I feel like you have opinions on the back of that, though, Ken, and I will let you go next if you'd like. Opinions on the back of what? Oh, sorry, the whiskey. Your rating. No. Yeah, oh, we'll come oh, back so around talking, to Miami. We're talking later. about Miami, and you said you had yeah, opinions I, on that, and I was like, yeah. I have fucking opinion on Miami. Is Miami's awesome? Oh yes, yes. So this whiskey, I like a lot. I think it's very tasty. I, I guess. In my experience, the fancier shit burns kind of like this, so it feels fancy. I don't know anything about it. So a lot of the time, I feel like there's like undue brand influence on my appreciation of substances. So like that knocks it down just a peg, just because I don't know, I never, I don't know what it is. But in the same sense, it tastes like the shit that I've had that's good. <laughs> I am a general fan of all alcohol. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs> Usually, in this in the Scotch realm, I usually go much peatier. Mm. But in recent times, I've actually backed off of that and shifted almost completely to bourbon. But this is lovely. I'll give it a I'll give it a, a, a six and a half. Nice. Yeah, I think that's very respectable. Yeah, in the realm of Scotch whiskey, which is incredibly diverse, so it is even hard sometimes to compare one to the other when you have more like Highland versus an Isla, Islay, whatever. However Wait, it was zero say. to eight, right? Yeah, zero to eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Because it would be an eight. Exactly. I, I'm not saying there's logic here. I don't yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, it just yeah, it's it all relative. started. It it's all it's all just. It's all kind of a long-winded joke anyway. No, so cool. it just, yeah. We're just here being it. connoisseurs. What did yeah. you think? Here's what I think. I think in the realm of Scotch whiskey, this is a very interesting whiskey. It's hard for me to compare it from one to another per se, like a Scotch as a whole. Let's say something that is smokier. I actually really kind of, if I'm going to get into a scotch, I either want it to be just very clean tasting, like a lot of like Japanese scotch style whiskeys, mm. or a, a bit smoky, like, but don't blow me away with that smoke. So I think this is interesting that it has some of these like diverse initial flavors and then finishes with the smoke to kind of remind me that it is scotch, but it doesn't like hang out for too long. To Robbie's point around it being younger for a scotch, yeah, because like scotch, since they're in used barrels, like 14 years is basically like a four to six year old bourbon, you know, as far as like really, but it's got some decent color in there. And uh, I think it tastes very interesting. The smell, the taste, the whatever else, like, it, I think I'm gonna give it a solid six. I mean, I, I, yeah, I like, I enjoy it. I definitely would have some more. I would tell someone who likes scotch to like give it a shot. I wouldn't clear the shelves. I'm going to go ahead and revise mine up to a seven because I was just reading on here that it's actually a Highland Scotch. I had knocked off a half point because I thought it was an American Scotch. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. it can't be called Scotch. It's no. just an American company that sources that, the, that the barrel yeah. and then they do all the marketing. You know, Which, it's I'll much take that job. Go around to distilleries, find old cool barrels and rebottle them. Sounds cool as shit. Yeah. It makes I, sick I, marketing. I yeah. think, yeah, I think that working in Ember JS to that job is a very natural jump as like your next I think career so too. pivot. Yeah, I could do my resume you, as is, and they'd probably hire me. Yeah. You work in Ember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Both of you? No. Uh, how long I, have you been I working mean, in Ember? Since 2012. 
Wow. You know, I'll tell you what. I haven't met someone who, like, genuinely uses Ember and doesn't love it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I've played with it. I've talked to uh, the, the fellas about it extensively. Yeah. Didn't it? Wasn't it, like, an offshoot of something? Like... Sprout, Sprout Core. Core. Sprout Core initially, yeah. 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 From Apple. And... I talked to Yehuda a lot about like web platform optimizations that could be made to unfuck some of the current problems, none yeah. of which manifested into the bullshit you see today out there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it always felt thoughtfully thoughtfully done. Yeah. It's a lot of smart people in that space and solving ways in a particular way and yeah. I used it for a few, I mean, that's how Robbie and I met actually when I was in DC and I was working for a startup there that was Ember and started getting involved with like the local meetup and, and uh, that's how our paths crossed. So I used it for a few years and then just ended up going another direction. Not really, no hate is just, you know, next thing basically. I ended up on react like randomly early. I think like the first time I saw it, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And then like, not that much later, I, I like went back and like tried it again. And like, at, at like the same time TypeScript came out and I didn't like TypeScript for a long time. I didn't like mm -hmm. TypeScript until fucking VS code. Yeah. Until you got the editor integration to really make it shine. I was yeah. like, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> but I came back to react and I, I like started playing with it. And I'm like, okay, this is fun started building a couple of things. Like it was like my night and weekend thing. I was doing like, like JSP and jQuery during the day. And then mm. fucking went and started writing react professionally. And what, a, how nicely that worked out. Yeah. Generally speaking. Okay. For you, but you know, <laughs> yeah, you got to wonder what's, you know, what's the next thing or is there a next thing? I mean, is there a, it's HTMX man. Yeah. No, like, 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 non-jokingly, I think HTMX can take care of about fucking half, if not more than half, of the shit that is currently written in React, and that's not a dig on React at all. No. Right? People have been saying like, don't build your fucking blog with React for a very long time. Yeah. So I think I think that's for for lightweight kind of shit, even really heavier shit, but you know, like heavier quantity, like a lot of the shit that I do, you probably couldn't do in it. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. yeah, not that alone, right? You need the right combination of tools, potentially. It's, like, hard to say there. I don't like but... mixing shit. Yeah? No? Nah. Nah. What do you do with them term tables, then? <laughs> well, I'll mix songs. I don't mix, like, <laughs> foundational frameworks together. Yeah. yeah that's like, I actually shit. wish that there was, like... Well, A, I wish that web components were better, fundamentally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. But I also wish that it was, like... So they're kind of like fucking useless without like lit or, or some shit like that, right? Yeah. So it's like, anytime you're, they're like, oh yeah, you could just use them. No, you can't. Don't you fucking lie. You cannot just use them. <laughs> like, I suppose you could. You will be able to anything, right? But like, yeah. and I'm going to get killed for this. The web component boys are going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? But no, really, like, you'd have to use React, lit, and that. And I just, it would be cool yeah. if there was like a, a better story for that because then I could switch all my shit to solid right now. <laughs> oh, now there's your spicy take. Now there's your spicy take. Yeah, Ryan applauds you. He's like, "Yeah, come on over, Ken. Yeah. Come on over." Yeah. I bet Solid has had a release within the last year, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> even without like the last half decade's great. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's a constant argument, but it does feel like that the argument is getting better. Like, I think there was a thread on, on Twitter just today where Ryan was kind of talking about, yeah, but the problem is, is we don't move forward because we have all these excuses why React is just the most pervasive. And, you know, if you took a, a risk and weren't saying, well, there are all these component libraries, there's all these, like, React-friendly things... Like, we're never going to catch up to Next because we don't have the backing of Next, and we don't have the backing of Next because all these other things are in that same ecosystem. But our core is really good, and people keep saying that. So, like, you know, when it's, does... It's very good. It's very good. 
Um, what I'll say is that if you're it, so if you're just like a kid at home fucking around with shit, you know, some fucking new dude, right? You could use whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. And you, know, you see a lot of people using next. <laughs> However, like, you know, if you're, if you're like at a company and you're like, have like an organization and like you fucking made like a 10 year investment in like react. I yeah. think like very that's a very difficult sell to be like, oh, let's just switch it over. Yeah. Right? Like not just the code itself, but like the collective knowledge internally around a certain thing. Yeah. Right? So it's like harder to move unless it's really compelling. And I think that what React did at the time was fucking compelling. Compared to, to what yeah, you, know, you, were, you were on Backbone or Angular. Yep. And a lot of the people who fucking deserved Angular stayed on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. No, I like I, I like I actually like Angular 1 probably more than Angular 2, to be honest. Oh, it's same. not Angular 2. Yeah, it's I liked just, the it's first It's just one. Angular now. Yeah, it's just Angular. JS 1, I, I, I liked. Angular 45 JS or whatever it is. Now. Yeah. Just, They're on like just, 18 now or something. Just Angular. One thing that I do like about Angular that I will tell you is observables. That shit is nice. Yeah. That shit is really nice. I use that a lot in, in React. Have you seen React observable? No. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. it's Isn't very there cool. another like genericized re uh, observable library? I'm not, I'm blanking a little bit. There's several. Yes. Yeah, Andre Stoltz had one. Um, there's a few. I, I think it makes sense for what I do which is mostly work with like real time data. Mm. You know, when when you get into that kind of engineering, I think it makes a lot more sense than like telling like somebody to use it for a click handler. Yeah, right. I mean, it doesn't make sense for like counter state, right? Mm -hmm. But if it's like, oh, I have like 3 4 different streams that need to get like aggregated and have these weird ass fucking rules about this this and that, then then you kind of need that. Fair. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think that the next thing, the the thing that will eventually unseat React because React's thing is that it's everywhere, everybody knows it, and anything you could possibly want, the best version of it is available for React, like component libraries, whatever the fuck, and da da da, yeah, you know, all this shit. Yeah. It, 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 all the shit's there. Yeah. And Vercel is doing everything they can to cement it as the standard, where it's yes. like the standard library of the web, which no no argument for me right like i'm not particularly upset about that but if you want to unseat react what you have to do is you need to be fundamentally different yeah and there needs to be a compelling case that can be sold and you have to get the initial community that'll actually put it over the line i think simplicity is part of that compelling case to a degree like mm -hmm. right html is like, having its moment right htmx with other older frameworks and all of a sudden like wait I don't need four cloud providers for auth and user management and RBAC and stuff like that. I can actually just pick up a, a framework that builds all that in for me, has a nice ORM, and then get my thing done. The funny thing about HTMX is they're not converting any front-end developers. They're just converting all the front-end developers, back-end developers. Yeah. <laughs> the back-end developers are like, all right, you know what? Fuck you. And then make, <laughs> you I'm know what? I got this go. again. I'm a, yeah, I'm going to write this in Go and just ship HTML straight from the API. I'm good to go. I wish Jason. I could write more Go. Mm. You just need to start a company and then have it be Go. Why would I start yeah. a company? So you can write more Go. I don't know. Why, why else <laughs> would you? I don't know. I'm not Listen. that entrepreneurial. No? No, yeah. I'm pretty risk averse. I'm a yeah. terrible businessman. Mm. Okay. So you're saying you're not good with money? No. <laughs> no. Not you, at all. You, you would be apt to take investment dollars and make some egregious purchases under the guise of marketing. No, right? I don't think I'd do that. I think you think I'd also come up with like like generally good ideas. Right? Mm. But yeah. like the day to day of it. I'm not that brand of adult. Uh, you know, it's actually the, the funny thing is that it's not what I want to do. Yeah. Like I like to 
to solve code problems all day long. Yeah. That's actually what I like to do. Like, people are like, oh, why haven't you transitioned to management? I'm like, oh, because I'm an HR liability. But the <laughs> there's <laughs> also that. Yeah. The, 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 the actual thing is that I fucking don't like people generally. Yeah. You know, like, I, I like, like people that I know. Right, but like people in general, or that you're like forced in it. Like I don't like fucking people, and like like all my friends who are managers are like, I'll tell you what, people are so much harder than code. It's fucking all. Like, oh, it's not. It's not that, that. tracks. It's, it's, it's people, mm. and I'm like, you know, I'm like, what do you like sit here all day long and fucking have to do one on ones with people bitching you about their lives? They're like, yeah, I'm like, that doesn't sound fun to me. Mm. Yeah, like, not I'd just their lives, some, like, but but also inter office uh, politics and bullshit. Yeah, and money and how they want to make more money and they perceive their. Uh, performance to get said money and they're they're walking on eggshells all the time yeah over this say there's the other side of the story too like their relationship with with you is different right if you're on in the trenches with them like no matter how much trust you build there is a difference in like your set of responsibilities and that nuance in your relationship that's just a power dynamics yeah perceived power you know i mean i guess Technically, the manager can make moves to fire you, but conversely, some of that power exists bi-directionally. But it, it, absolutely, you could make yeah. heinous allegations. Exactly. If yes. one were or true, true ones, or true ones. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say true or false. I said heinous. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but or, <laughs> yeah, dude, I have fucking I have no interest in that shit. What would happen yeah. is I'd probably give like some real like raw dog unsolicited advice, and fucking yeah. shit would hit the fan. <laughs> and I'd be like, I'm like, well, we don't pay that much because you're not that good, <laughs> like, <I'm> like, <laughs> right? <laughs> the pay, yeah. the pay is commensurate with skill level. There's like a level of, do you know, like the the Northeast bullshit level cap, like you hit a certain tier, yeah. And somebody will be nice up until like eighty percent, yeah. Like you'll you'll push somebody, you push on somebody up to like eighty percent. The second you go to eighty one percent. If, if you're dealing with a Northeastern fellow or, or mm-hmm. lady for that matter, they're yeah. going to fucking go to 200. That's fair. It's just, they're going to be like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> just go like, yeah, like you'll see, like, like if somebody's doing that shit, like I'll sit there and I'll start like, I'm getting uncomfortable because I know it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> I'm like, back it down, back it down. Fuck you! I quit. <laughs> like, and now you can suck I my fucking out. dick and da 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 da. Like you know, yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. lose your mind. So yes, yes, yeah. yeah that's why I can't be a manager. Mm. But as yeah. you get older, that's will fair. will that level out? Here's the thing: is that you get. I think here's my perception. Am I going to calm down? Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But in my view, this is from me. It yeah. could happen. It could not happen to you. You get older, and you do have more patience but you also dislike people more are you sunning oh, me yeah. right now hold how, how old are you yeah son i'm 46 really yeah yeah wow. <laughs> clean living <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep whiskey every day will do that for you i was gonna say i am just preserved from the inside out <laughs> yeah bro yeah I'm, I, I was like i was like i was like fucking who are you talking about getting old and i was like i'm 38 and then yeah, and I was like, "Listen, son." You did, yeah, no, no, yeah. valid sunning. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> us, us Gen Xers, we just, uh, you know, wait, we I'm, just still, don't... I'm still Gen X, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it ends in 1980. I'm 77. No. Yeah, yeah, really. My, my wife, yeah, yeah. I, I know 100. percent You're, mil- you know, nope, you're millennial because she's 83 and she's like, yeah, she's 83. 1983. She's quite a bit older. I'm an 85er. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How old are you? Oh, jeez. Uh, Don't ask this question. <laughs> You're not going like to That's cool. Yeah. 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 You're, you're firmly millennial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm like transitory millennial. Elder, elder, elder. You're elder feeling a little bit of both. Yeah. No, I feel like I mean, 45. Well, wait, how many Douglas Copeland books have you read? None. Well, then you're not Gen <laughs> X. <laughs> 100% not there. But Do you have to read not, at yeah, all that's what I'm to be like, Gen I'm not, X? <laughs> I'm not a big reader in the first place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I don't, I, don't, I don't pleasure read. Do you guys read uh, I used to. I, Hell no. Nah. I used to. Yeah, I, I used to fiction. a lot. I like uh, nonfiction. If I, I have like some both, time, actually, I used to like I'm going to play a video game. I'm not going to read. I have, the fuck? Yeah. So that's it. 
Yeah, yeah. no, I <laughs> hey, I fucking play video games. I fucking well, play the shit play. out of video games. Well, lately, I'm obsessed with Tears of the Kingdom. I, just I started it finally. I played like the first time. two hours. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, I'll take little half hour pockets and be like, okay, I'm going to do this shrine quest. I'm going to collect this armor set. Now, what do I need to upgrade? You know, yes. You know what I've been playing? Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Oh. The VR games. You guys okay. play this shit? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mostly play I'm mini dabbled. golf, though. Yeah, mini it makes me feel sick playing sick. it, usually. Mini golf is sick. I, you got to send Did you me your play gamer the full tag. Golf? The what? The full golf. Oh, no, I didn't. Like Golf no. Plus or whatever? It's unbelievable. Yeah, I it's saw like, that. It's like a, you suck at it in yeah. the almost exact same ways that you suck at real golf. <laughs> yeah, great. I should love it then. So it's like, like I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm playing shitty. I'm like, wait, this is exactly how I play. <laughs> I'm like, I fucking, I'm like, swing too hard off the drive and fucking slice it. I'm like, Jesus Christ, they should pick that up. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> dude, like the VR games, like it's very difficult for me to play something like COD now. When mm. you play, like, like, have you guys played Half Life Alex? No. Mm-mm. Unbelievable. So, like, this shit, like, it's hard to describe. Like, you'll see there, there'll be like a, like a, a handgun magazine on the ground, right? And you have like these like gravity gloves, and you can be like, shoom, right? And it'll fucking um. like, flip up in the air, and then you catch that shit, right? And then you put it into your shit, and you're ch- ch- right. But you're like actually doing it with your like with Call of Duty. Like, basically, you're the entire time. Right, you're trying to move a dot to be on top of somebody. Yeah. Right, like oh, you're going through great length, just put a dot on top of somebody, and like that's the thing the whole time. But like this shit, right? Like Arizona Sunshine too, right? It's like zombies. Oh yeah, I heard like, about that. Out there, and like these zombies are coming up, and like you have to like fucking like grab ammo and like load the shotgun and cock it and like push them. Away I don't know. And fucking head off. It's awesome. Those like horror games in VR kind of freak me out. The thought of it. Did you play I Walking like, Dead? No, I didn't. It's unbelievable. You Same stab thing. people in the fucking head with forks and shit. It's f- I got to fight Darth <laughs> Vader, though. That shit was pretty awesome. Did you do that one? The whole, like, Star Wars three-parter uh, thing no. with the lightsabers? You don't, yeah, you don't, you don't have that geek in you, do you? No, I do. I just don't like, 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 I, I don't know. You don't like Star Wars? I, I, I mean, Star Wars is okay. Like, the first three of them. Yeah. Well, The original me, three or one, two, and three? The original three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I figured yeah. that's what you meant. So, yeah. Terrifying. Four, five, six. I saw... I So I saw Empire Strikes Back at the drive-in, but I barely remember it. And then I saw Return of the Jedi in 83 at the, at the movies. OG there. So I just like the idea. And in VR, you know, Darth Vader, like they have the whole like size measurement perception thing. So he's, he's like, like 20 feet. Tall, it feels like, and you're just, and he steps up to you, he's really pissed, and you're like, holy shit, this is crazy, kind of creepy. So if I played one of those, like, like there's a Blair Witch Project game and some other, like, crazy shit, too, I'm like, I'm not doing that in VR. I will, sh- I will pee my pants. There's ones that, like, freak you the fuck out. Actually, well, well, dude, so there was this one that, it, it, it was Half-Life Alex I was playing, and it's, it's so creative what they did with it. Like, there was a... Like, you have the headset on, right? And there's, like, speakers here. And there's constantly, like, shit popping out. Or this is how you're like, ah, right? Like, But, like, you go and, like, a fucking, like, piece of a wall falls off, right? And you're, like, standing there on the edge of something, right? They, like, play this white noise, like, loud enough that it felt like wind on your face. I was mm. like, what the fuck? It was crazy. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, whoa, this is fucking nuts. And the weirdest thing is coming back to reality after that. Like you like yeah. beat the game, and, like you take the fucking headset off, and you go upstairs, and you're like, <laughs> "What's gonna, what's gonna <laughs> jump around?" Have you, have you guys played Grand Theft Auto? Like in life at all? Yeah. <laughs> yes, in life. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I had a while now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I played the computer games that were like 2D over top. I loved that. No, game have you played then. like GTA Five? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever driven directly after playing GTA Five for like three hours? No, I it's wild because like any. you're like, so, like some shit gets like I like fucking back out of the driveway. I'm like, like ah, fucking pull around. I'm like, ah, I'm like, whoa, hold on, we've got to back in the real world now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you like you get like subtly used to being an asshole like that, right? And then it just like tracks out into outside of the game. Yeah, you know, 
I hope yeah. I hope no no other parents are listening to this because they're all going to be like, okay, so don't let my kids play these games. Clearly, they think this <laughs> becomes reality at some point. I let my kids play. I mean, that's an argument with all games. Like, yeah. you got to be able to separate it from reality because none of them are like, let's learn how to like cook or do a like nice life skill or some shit. Like, it's fun have you ever it's played like, Power Wash Simulator? No, but I can no, imagine that that'd be very, good. very satisfying. <laughs> <Yeah>. Extremely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to tell my wife about that one. She fucking loves watching power watching videos and like. Yeah, there's so. a whole like Reddit thread about them and like they shows the best ones. Yeah, do you guys power wash? I do. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yes. I, like I like it, but I also hate it. Right, like, let's is, go let's go yeah. ruin a pair of sneakers fellas like uh, right. yeah yeah and then you like hit it wrong and it sprays all over your face and shit like yeah hate that i i have to uh, so like around my pool right there's like all these like patio pavers yeah quite a bit of patio pavers and i power washed it and i guess it knocked some of that sand out yeah like the polybaric sand yep so like now i have all this growth and the other day i got this thing it's like a fucking like like an eagle talon on fucking two wheels that you use to scrape it all out. It's all scraped out, but I have to power wash that whole fucking thing. And like, that's like the, like, I like when it's like, oh, this section of siding has a little bit of moss. Let's yeah. Get this incredibly satisfying, you know, it's not there anymore. Yeah. yeah. This is like an eight hour day of like pushing this fucking thing around with like the, the ground attachment on it. Like, I might yeah. pay somebody to do it. I fucking don't do it. Yeah, I was going to say, there, the eight-hour day sounds like that's well beyond the threshold of the Worth value it. of my time and satisfaction versus, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll power wash the deck. Yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. one. That's yeah. very... Follow those lines. And then I use <laughs> yeah. a power washer with, like, the foam attachment. Wash the car. You ever did, foamed mm. your car? No, I never did it through the car. Oh, man. Get some, like, foam stuff. Yeah. And that is also very satisfying. So you just like, you know, make it a little wet and then you put the foam attachment on and it puts this like big foam coat on and it just like slowly Ooh, drips down the mm. dirt. And then you end up with this amazing, and then you just rinse that off, done. You don't even yeah. have to touch it. It's so that good. That sounds like a job for me after Devin takes my job. Yeah, that's true. You could, yeah, there's some guys <laughs> well, way that into That figure like, thing will be able to do it. You saw that today? No. Figure? Oh, you didn't see this? No. Can you cast shit to the to the screen? Like screen share? I yeah. think you can screen yeah, share. There's yeah, there's a share, share button. button. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to share my screen. There's a bunch of proprietary information <laughs> and pornography. Listen, but there, there was a thing. We I all guess know that you're bringing MySpace back. We get it. Yeah. So <laughs> there's like a robot thing called Figure that has like open AI as a brain. Oh. And it mm. was like doing dishes. Oh shit! Yeah. So okay, like, nothing is safe then. Yeah. So, so, so uh, uh, the homie I'm firing Farge, my he wife. Was like he was like <laughs> he was like yeah, there goes being an electrician. <laughs> like, Seriously, I was like, like literally what? looking at electrician schools. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I guess we have, charge a lot. They but do. I actually yeah, got no, rid of that great. idea because because here's 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 the reasoning, right? Like, um, you know, people self-select for electricianship right now. Right. But in the event that the entire white collar workforce is laid off, right? Like how many new electricians are, are entering the market? What does that do to the the pay for electricians? Yeah. Right. That's right? true. Like yeah. it's not even going to be fucking worth it. Right. So yeah. I, I don't know. I, I think that, you know, like if you, if they take all the jobs away from people, I think that's going to go pretty poorly. Yeah. I think we should just go fuck up all the AI servers everywhere so they can't make progress. Do really, like a truly. whole Well, honestly, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you if you fucking went over and gave a semiconductor factory a noogie. Make I think it would right. solve a lot of problems. <laughs> Do you remember how they reset the credit system in at the end of Fight Club? Is like there was all yeah. this I don't right? remember like actually anything after that. I just remember a bunch of buildings exploding. Like, exactly. So their whole thing, Project Mayhem, was to destroy all these bank buildings with the servers in the bottom, and they would were basically watching the financial system melt down. And it's a total reset for humanity. So before it gets yeah. too far, we just got to fight club all that shit. 
Well, here here's a here's a brain scratcher for you. Would you be willing to deal with losing modern conveniences in exchange for not being in AI space communism? I mean, would no. I? No. <laughs> See, I would, but I think most people yeah. wouldn't, which is why we're on we're on we're on the train. It's yeah. it has no brakes because and that's what's happened for years though. Convenience and comfort has always taken Trumps everything. It's yeah. a first yeah, pun intended. First class citizen <laughs> in life because like, yeah, I'd be concerned with this, but I have my phone, I have cable TV, I can watch the sports every weekend. Yeah. Like but, if internet goes away, just fucking shoot me in the face because I don't what do I want to live for if I'm just like gardening and like oh, dude, no internet reading awesome. books and shit? But the, like, the real problem is medicine. <laughs> medicine yeah, goes that away. too. Yeah. Then like you know your kid dies of like the fucking common cold. Oh gosh. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's true. Those are conveniences. Like I'm totally too. into this whole like fucking live in the woods thing and build shit out of wood and fucking hunt elk, mm-hmm. and beef jerky and fuck type thing. That's yeah. tight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, like, you know, and then, like, your old lady dies in childbirth, and you're like, ah, you know what? They're mm. fucking computers, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, That's maybe, always maybe an iPhone was all right. Like, why, again, why do humans have so much problem with childbirth? Because we're not when, from like, here. like, fucking... Because what? Because we're not from here. We freeze mm. to death. We get sunburn. We're ill-suited for the That's climate. True. I'm yeah. convinced either, A, we got French bulldogged, or, B some fucking aliens came here and fucked monkeys and yeah. fucking that's what we are or something. Oh, yeah. We're not fit for this shit. Mm, we're, no. not, we're not, you know, we're, we're cunning, right? And like maybe yeah. like a couple guys found caves, but that's actually like if you think about it, if you think about like percentages of, of problems and shit without modern medicine, like it's unbelievable we didn't all die out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unfucking believable. Like put a few humans against like a pack of lions. We're not winning. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> We're smart no enough to build build tools to win. Apparently, that's right. That's Given the enough theory. time, you can win. Yeah, but over like, a few generations, we'd be living in trees I mean, yeah. like fucking trolls. <coughs> yeah, we have little tree houses and shit, lanterns. Cool. We're definitely not the uh, yeah trolls. I'm a rock troll, funk troll. Yeah, Robbie's <laughs> definitely pop. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, your kid's not old enough, but you'll know. We we'll get there. So okay. natural selection, right? We think about like natural selection in this way. And we're definitely not the top of the, the food pyramid in that way, right? No. Like, I don't know where we land, but we're not the Technically top. Technically now we are, but it's artificial. But, right, exactly. Right. It's manufactured. We like fought our way to the top. Yeah. Given the, no tools, we are very lower, very much lower than we are now. I think without like societal fucking mechanisms in place though, like if I just set a tiger loose in new york city like it would really fuck a lot of people up oh for oh, sure yeah no really, doubt. like you would really have to call in a very specialized swat team to put that thing down yeah 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 it, it's gonna get a few before it'd be it like a huge problem so like if you didn't <laughs> have a swat team or like rifles and shit like that like are some guys with spears gonna take one for the team yeah and just run up no, on that bitch no. and fucking <laughs> da, 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 right like <laughs> right right i mean there's so much of life in that way that i think that is very enabled by the access to particular conveniences right like a lion shows up you if if you just see it but you're safe you can call someone else to take care of it maybe you have something to overpower it but not by your own physical being right like there are things that make you have like a sense of safety i okay so tangentially related i i have said this before that like there's the 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 idea of being a vegan for example right like that's a very like urban modern convenience like you don't live out in the sticks and eat salad how many vegans have you ever met that are like yeah eat like a rabbit how the fucking deer even do that they eat grass all day and live what I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> their bodies need different things and their brains are a lot corn, smaller, which is why we eat them. them. Yeah. Well, that too. And, and that's why we get to eat them because we take on some of those nutrients second process within yeah, their muscles. Way more efficient. 
Yeah, exactly. Way more efficiently. So like as a human choosing to be a vegan is very much a hard fought choice to a degree because in the wild, you don't have that access in many towns. You don't have that access unless you want to live on like Doritos or something and only certain Doritos because some are not yeah. vegan. Right. Depends on your, your actual choices. Like, is it actual vegetables or just things that don't have a face? So from what I understand, like, like, so you have like, like vegetarians who can eat mm -hmm. pizza. Yeah. Which really clears a lot up. Absolutely. And then you have vegans yeah. who can't eat dairy. Yeah. Right? They, yeah. Vegans don't eat dairy. They, do, oh, they don't eat honey because we can't ask the bees for permission. To take mm -hmm. that. So there's like you can't no eat figs because they have wasps in them. Really? Mm hmm. I didn't hear. I've never heard that. Yep. Huh? Something like maybe I'm fucking wrong, but I. That seems like a really specific thing to be fucking wrong about. Let yeah. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't oh know. I, like every time, like I start, I, I start like prying. Like somebody's like, "Oh, I'm a vegan, right?" And I'm like, "Oh, well, fucking, you know, tell me about this." And then it sounds so bad that I fucking get bored and don't pry any further to yeah. get like, like to the real meat. I'm like. Oh man! But, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'm just like, ah, I, I, if I could keep keep it up, if you like it, whatever. You know. Yeah, I mean, like, good for you. I'm not convinced personally, yeah, no, but I'm, you know, not for me. Like, I, yeah, I, I so feel like it's... I could probably do like pescatarian. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in uh, a, in a bind. Like I, I fucking love like. Yeah. I mean, chicken is give or take. Chicken's like middle of the road. That's like standard, right? Like if if yeah. I'm gonna eat anything. Like, I always have chicken. I'll always eat chicken. Yeah. Steak. Yeah. I fucking love. But like if, if, if it was just like, oh, you dropped me off on an island with a fishing pole, fucking all you can eat is like fish and shit. I'd be like, okay. Yeah. I could I live like with fish. that. Chicken Given is always limited like resources. I would take nothing but crab legs for every meal. <laughs> nice. But you know, that's I'll not eat really crab attainable. In the fucking ocean. Yeah. 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 They're very tasty. Chicken yeah. always takes is, is always a artifact of its recipe. Like yeah. nobody just yeah. cooks a chicken breast plain with a little salt yeah. and pepper, and it's, it's like very bland. Mm, love yeah. it. People do that with steak, right? They're like, that's Ooh, true. This yeah. has so much yeah. to it because it has I intramuscular it fat. Unseasoned. You can eat a yeah. chicken, but it has to be a regular chicken. Yeah. Yeah, like a rotisserie chicken. Oh yeah, yeah. But you it means get... the smaller the chicken, the better. If you yeah. want like fat and uh, breast meat, pff, not for me. Yeah, my wife will make a rotisserie chicken, and her and the kids eat the breast meat. I'm fucking going for the thighs, the wings. The thighs, oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. man, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all about up. the thighs. You motherfuckers yeah. fuck with giblets. Yeah, I, I fuck, fuck with, with giblets, giblets heavily. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> heavily. Oh god, See, this is sounds like an HR. That's going to be a quote we use now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, 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 I spatch cock fucks this with fucking giblets. shit, right? Yeah, <laughs> it was beautiful, beautiful rub. You spat, you spatch cock those. Oh, fucking yeah. Yeah, 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 and then fucking they give you a little giblet bag on the inside. Yeah, I'm sitting there, little garlic butter with some liver and heart. Yeah. Boy. Ooh, this shit is. Yeah, yeah. A little iron a flavor on it. Yeah, a little. A, a lot of the parts are where it's at. Yeah, you know. Yeah, which is a weird thing though. Is like you buy a turkey, right? And they put all that inside it and freeze it. And yeah, mm -hmm. you're supposed to like plan ahead and thaw it or whatever. Giblet like gravy, yes. But if you don't. Why can't they put that shit like on the outside in a separate package so you could just move it when it's frozen? Space efficiency. And you don't have to. Well, sure, yeah. but it doesn't seem that big. Like, oh, I man. mean, it's not unnatural. Spent... That's what it originally was. <laughs> yeah. No, like Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm sitting there with hot water running over this shit because I didn't yeah. thaw it enough, like, for a fucking hour trying to get it out of there. Like, it's annoying. Have you guys ever cut the organs out of an animal? No. Mm -mm. It's actually really fucking difficult. Yeah. I've heard I would that. imagine they're yeah. they're meant to stay there. Like yeah. when you when you do the whole deer thing, like <laughs> yeah, like it's it's ironically called dressing a deer, right? Isn't yeah, that what it is. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. gonna and use like fucking like localized nomenclature on you and shit. Like, but but yeah, but when it, you're dressing a deer, right? Like you know, there, there, there's there's a lot of care to be taken to not like get shit to to not rupture like the digestive system to like spoil the meat or whatever. But like that's true. As yeah. far as like artfully removing the giblets yeah that's another thing in and of itself right because like if you're if you're just gonna go and and dress it field dress it right yeah like you're you're gonna go in right then you go like ass to throat and then you got to go in and cut the windpipe and you got to cut out all the connective tissue on around the sides and like dump it over and like you know you just throw it all on the ground yeah right? 
but if you're if you're gonna extract the giblets, right? Then you got to go in and you got to cut them out individually and shit, and like put them in these like field bags and everything. It's, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah. I wonder who does this for chickens, right? Like they they cleanly like fucking extract these giblets out of a chicken while dressing it. And is there a machine that does it efficiently? There's no fucking way a machine does it. Yeah. Yeah. They're all like slightly different sizes. So it's by no hand way you for could, sure. Like, yeah. 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 It's an interesting just people that probably are just really good at it, I guess. And oh, yeah. fast. In a factory farm, too. Have though. you guys ever been to Maryland? Yes. Have you ever, have you ever been <laughs> yeah. to one of these crab places? Yes. Yeah, it's probably like that. Like the first like, the eight or so. I, you're I, sitting there, you're all coy. Yeah. Fucking picking her. Oh, how am I going to open this up? Right? Your boy shows you the trick. He's like, yeah, the dick thing. Pull it like that. Right? And like, yeah. yeah. And then like the ten, dick thing. 10 yeah, minutes later. Thing. You're sitting there with some squeeze butter. You're like, bam, 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 bam. Like, just fucking tearing these shits That's apart. That's true, yeah. Like a well-oiled machine. Like, there's people who probably just fucking take those shits. They're like, bam, bam. Like. Yeah. Your first. Yep. So you're saying you never get any mustard in yours? Any mustard in my You know, if you break crabs? open the. Yeah, if you yeah, break open like the guts a little. Gross. Yellow shit in, in the crabs? No. Yeah. Not very often. You mean like a pregnant crab? No, 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 no. Like, no, no. you bust its, it's just guts like, open It's in like the, the, uh, the lungs and shit. There's always like. It's extra yellow. yellow. I call it the mustard. Oh, no, I eat that. Yeah. You eat that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I especially eat it on lobster. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I eat yeah. all the shit from the lobster. Yeah. Do you eat the brain? No. I don't even know no. they have brains. Yeah, I don't know if they do for sure. But you can, like, suck out of the you guys head make the extra fish? meat. No. I, I mean, I've had it made, yeah. though. Yeah. You can get, like, a whole fish, right? And then it's, like, rubber up with olive oil. Oh yeah, Some spices like Branzino, kind of yeah. like Branzino, yeah, 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 and then just like fry it or or bake it, you know, whatever you want to do. And then when it's done, the cheek meat. Mmm, that's true. The cheek meat is yes. That cheek meat. Free. <laughs> the cheek meat on a red snapper. Ooh, wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I heard that there are fish in Florida, and specifically there are fish near in Miami. Miami. Yeah, they jump up to the skyscrapers. They just. Yeah, they jump up and you grab one. Yeah, you just, just grab it out the window. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's how it goes. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> We're just being stupid. I'm tangentially <laughs> trying to bring up React Miami. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be there. Use code uh, whiskey web Miami for uh, some kind of discount. I forget what it is. I don't know either. Yeah, we do have a code fifty dollars, I think. No. Okay. Mm. So Ken's code is Whiskey Web Miami. Use that when you buy a ticket to hang out with us. I could ask Michelle. I, mean, I could get a code. You could get a code. I mean, I don't know. Do you need I think a code? You should. You could, yeah, maybe. We I should need all a code. Have codes. I need a code to show on fucking stage. I've been so my, my, my talk is how to make beats with AI. Yes. Mm. And it's fucking going poorly. Oh. <laughs> okay. I know how to fix it. Okay. Go ahead. So we're going to be there, but we're going to be like media guys on the street doing like, you know, these like short little interview things on the fly. But mm. here's the important part is we're going to have a flask of brown juice mm-hmm. in our pockets. Well, a refillable flask. Correct. Not a limited size. Yeah. Uh, a so flask you, so of I'm brown gonna interview juice. interview for a drink? Uh, I don't know what you do. What you do is you find or we find you right before your talk Mm -hmm. and you have some of that and then it's fixed. Well, I thought you were going to say have the whole audience drink first and then it's like, doesn't matter what you talk about. (laughs) So so like actually like the, 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 the problem surface that we're dealing with here is that it's really difficult to get a, a deterministic demo Mm -hmm. using generative AI. Okay. Right. Like, like normally, right. Like, if I'm like, oh, here's how to like fucking do this and that, and make this shit with JavaScript or fucking Swift or whatever the fuck, right? Like, I know, like, oh, well, this demo is going to go exactly how I thought it would because I coded it that way. Mm-hmm. Whereas this is like, hey, magic machine god, I'm gonna <laughs> hold the audience off for three minutes while you fucking cook up some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Please make it semi passable. <laughs> <laughs> You could just record it ahead of time and then pretend like you're typing it out right then. That's actually a really oh. smart way to deal with the limitations, but like I feel like it's so I always give live demos and they go good and they go bad and even if they go bad I do funny shit so it's okay, but like yeah. I feel like it hits way harder if it happens live. 
Yeah. That is true, yeah. Maybe that you know I mean, you know what I'll do? Maybe I'll just like record one. I'll I'll use this as like a snippet when you guys publish this. I'll like I'll be like, listen, I figured this out, I talked to the fellas and I have a yeah. recorded one just in case <laughs> this one went bad, it went bad here. Watch this. Like Yeah. Yeah. A backup is good to have. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Why not like cover both cases? I like that. So, so. are you guys scared of AI? Uh, scared? I don't know I'm, that I would be scared. Yeah. I'm apprehensive to so a degree. I think juniors should be very scared. Yeah, and I want to also maybe I shouldn't do this <laughs> on a, talking good about React Miami. But did you see Gabe's post earlier? They're hiring like two to three hundred juniors to train LLMs to put juniors out of fucking jobs. And I said, that is some fucking bullshit. Let's not do that. But like, oh, man. So uh, what was the original question? I don't know where I was going with that. But are you scared of AI? So yeah, yes. I, would I say think juniors he, should be very scared. Because I mean, what? yeah, you can opt yeah. out. You can opt out of participation. I'm not sure you can stop the forward momentum is the difference i'm strongly considering participating yeah but i don't think it's gonna so i i know folks who participate and they have no moat and yeah most of them have bad ideas but if they have a good idea then open ai just steals it anyway so it's like right. you know, like anybody who had like a like a good enough idea like the big companies just do anyway and like yeah the company's absolutely. over in yep. a week yeah so i feel like the, so what did somebody say i'm actually going to look it up because there, there's 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 two tweets that are fucking hilarious about this that kind of like so the one homie this is my second time mentioning fudge today hmm. what did he say he said all the smart people i meet seem to realize there's a steadily shrinking window of time to hop social classes which is crazy oh yes yeah that Isn't is that crazy? crazy very true. true though and it's yeah. like I would wager to say 99% aren't. And then like their last endeavor was like, like working for crumbs, trying to make a startup start or getting like VC money and then squandering it. Right. Yeah, like course. that's going to be a big problem. You know? All the VC money to an AI. And then like most of it turns out to be bullshit. Like that thing that they released the other yeah. day is pretty obviously bullshit. Like Devin or whatever. Yeah. You yeah. think that's bullshit? Yeah. Well, it's bullshit in yeah. stats currently, but that well, you don't know what the level the of acceleration is, is. I think that is interesting. The the quality of the product, the product, the the the, the problem is that they're they're trying it intentionally and openly. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, like I like like if somebody was like, I'm gonna replace Hollywood with fucking AI video back when like it was like that goofy shit with Will Smith eating sweaty, like you laugh at them, right? Yeah. But the problem is that yeah. somebody says they're going to replace Hollywood. And I'm not Hollywood. I'm a software yeah. developer. So when somebody says they're going to re replace software developers, bullshit or not, right? Like that is an applauded and real and intentional goal that I do not Absolutely. like. Yeah. They can yeah. fuck right and if you off can, If you can replace shit. software developers, mm -hmm. not to suck my own dick, but who fucking out, who, 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 who's safe? White collarly speaking. No nope. fucking not managers. I'll tell you that yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> or right, project exactly. managers. The only rich people, <laughs> right? designers are already yeah. fucked. Would be generational. No, no, no. Desi are, like, are designers yeah, fucked? They're... Are they really fucked? Like, have you ever generated yeah. an AI image that was I've, fucking They're fucked usable? enough that like, well, you generate like the eighty percent that's like tells you what you want, and then you can get a designer to do the last twenty percent of like, I like this, but make this different. It's never. It's like, never. It's never generated anything actionable for me right like like if you're like hey do a fucking monkey in a space helmet on roller skates right it'll do that and you're like oh look look at that but like like what do you have now you just have a stupid fucking picture right you don't have like a figma yeah. with like information architecture right yeah well someone will probably make oh, that there's, eventually there's probably the a bunch of teams of the gap. who can't get a job yeah. who are fucking absolutely working on it sequoia just gave them a billion dollars <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're the first level of training, and mm -hmm. that'll get you to the twenty percent, and then you find the next possibly desperate. I'm finding group the, of other, people the other, the other who opt into it. Fucking, you're gonna you'll enjoy this. This is hilarious. You guys follow Growing Daniel? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, as I'm like scrolling 
to get to his other tweet, he, there's another tweet. He said, I'm going to miss front end devs after they get unceremoniously slaughtered by an AI model that can't reliably tell you what weighs more, a pound of feathers or a pound of lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think I think that's a whole like misconception with front end dev, too, though, is like, won't ai something that's technically based be able to do algorithms and shit easier than this like chrome making bug sure works right this fucking div algorithm looks boys the are same out of business. like three or four browsers oh no, no i found i found the yeah. other tweet he said if you don't get equity in an ai <laughs> yeah. now then your children will be chattel slaves for the global machine god for the rest of eternity <laughs> what a tweet <laughs> Yeah, 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 but you know what? I, wrong, I think though. I think I think there's a false belief that so fucking having an bought... AI startup will so will save you, right? Because it's like it's like oh, I made this thing that replaces yeah, this, this, no. and that. But like, you have to understand that like the 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 need for code, or the need for design, <laughs> or the need for copy, or the need for management, all stems from people spending money and being willing yeah. to spend money on things and if no one has a job no one is spending money and your fucking ai thing is not going to get your 1999 a month yeah exactly now, like nobody can buy your product nobody so like, then what? can participate in your e-commerce then store then, right? then like, microsoft has like the best ai in the entire world nobody yeah. has jobs and fucking i have to eat bugs and live in like fucking com commie blocks with my family <laughs> That's what universal basic income. And then, like, what do you, you do with universal yeah. basic? How many blocks? Yeah. Like, what what do you produce that an AI can't produce? What do you do that a robot can't do? Fucking the second these know. things fuck, we're completely done. Yeah. There'll just be a lot more crime. You steal the other people's income. <laughs> AI could generate better porn. Yeah. Like, you're gonna have to literally. Like, you That's have like a, a five year buffer period of literally selling whole before that fucking thing does it better. Yeah. And then what? Yeah, I mean that's true. Yeah, and then idiocracy no, is no. a reality then that's it you know and and i i think like you know i've done a lot of thought experiment around this and like like either everything goes to shit right because of the economic impact right it's just like an economic fucking nuke that just fucks everything up and then millions of people die or it like it just it, if this thing gets like autonomous Right, like that's like the birth of like a a, a, a new kind mm. of life. Right, that's like machine life. Yeah, and like, what is that different from that mm -hmm. to us? You know, obviously, like biological and like materials and shit like that. But like, if this thing gets birth and it has like a consciousness and it can like go and like program itself, program other things, it has a collective consciousness, which is even crazier. The collective consciousness is like fucking way better than yeah, the a survival yeah. instinct. Like that, like, like even animals yeah. have that kind of like magnetically or however the fuck like they have like yeah. collective and like they all fucking circle the drain or whatever the fuck like that kind of thing but like you know if, if these things go <laughs> and like they they understand like materials and they know how to build each other and shit and they can replicate and then they have goals and things like that like that's a whole new life form and there's no fucking way they're not going to kill yeah. all of us so like anyway you slice the pie mi like millions and billions of people oh yeah like, for sure like, they, yeah oh yeah people think like oh yeah it's gonna be this like sick utopia where like i'm yeah. gonna hang out i'm gonna be like the town bard and fucking play acoustic guitar and fucking they're just gonna like 3d print steaks and everybody's gonna yeah. be big suck that's no not way. how it's gonna go yeah. no like why yeah, would you want to kill yourself by making likely. like robots skynet right? over and idiocracy. maybe like last ditch effort you get like your like brain yeah. like, replicated into the robot and then like you have like these like creative robots that like creates the content for these fucking things then you, then you get yeah, to be, be immortal. immortal yeah the, Actually, it's all you know yeah. what i'll tell you what nah. but Same. that even i think that modern society has gone far enough in solving every problem that we've had like up up until this point i think that and then this might sound crazy but i i think that I don't think any, like, very rarely do people experience, like, true joy or happiness anymore. And there's a reason for it. The reason for that is that you have to have, like, extreme hardship in order to recognize that other, that, like, emotional pull. Right? So, like, if you're operating, like, mid-tier all the yeah. time, which actually, as software engineers, right, we're, like, pretty handsomely compensated. We live comfortable lives, right? Like, we're, like, artificially, like, mid-tier fucking emotional experience most of the time. Like, I remember, like, 
Yeah, and the thing that I don't really understand is like, is it was it youth? Was it just youth? Or right when like when like I actually had problems, like I, I like like the best thing in the world ever could happen to me today, and I'd be less excited than when I was like eighteen and on drugs and fucking won a crossword lottery ticket. Do you know what I mean? like yeah, like you remember yeah, like yeah. like hitting a crossword? You're like motherfucker, yeah. hundred dollars, <laughs> like. Woo! 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 Like you just you yeah. lose your fucking mind. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Daddy's yeah, gonna eat fucking good tonight. Yeah. You yeah. Hit up no, your boy. You're like, that. I'll take two yeah. bags. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is a lot harder to get that joy now when, like, you know, your salary is exponentially higher, and it's like, what do I even want anymore? Right. Because. Right. Like, yeah, back in the day, like, if I could buy a couple rounds of drinks at the bar, it's like, that's a good night. Like, cool. But, like, now it's like, you know, what am I trying to get? Like, a bigger house? Like, I've, I've got a big enough house. I don't fucking need anything else. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, what am I, I doing? I've, I don't you know. know. I've, I've, I've ascended pretty yeah. Why? good for, you know, what I ever thought I would make. And I think that, like, the point mm-hmm. where it stops being, like, necessarily gratifying is when the bills are paid. Like, you can lifestyle fucking mm-hmm. adjust to yeah. make your bills more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then, like kick that down and if you push don't that line have much further struggles and... or goals or hardships or failures, like what does that leave you? Mm. Yeah, you can't learn without failures. I feel like that's a philosophical though that isn't necessarily only about AI. It, it's not it just makes AI, us it's think an about it a little more. Society as a whole, possibly in general, it's no. just, this thing is just has the capability to accelerate Absolutely. much further and faster. Mm. See, I didn't know you we were gave get me this good deep. whiskey. This is on you. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta admit. Yeah, I know it is. I mean, we at least have enough whiskey. Well, I have enough whiskey I don't. for the next many years because I don't drink all of mine. Like, oh uh, right, does. yeah. So okay, so that just means well, there will be a part three. I'm certain of that. We can talk about that a little bit in person before you know it. Yeah, I'm almost advocating for Ken. You and I go to Virginia. And help Robbie out, and we'll do it in person. Help me out with what? All the you whiskey have too much. That you have. I know. Let's go it's oh, running okay. out of space. And then no, I'd be happy to come down there and, and take care of you. He is. Yes, he needs our help. Yeah, do not no, drink we can work. do it I mean, for the kids. S- yeah. No, I, I like drink for the podcast, and then I drink really? if people like come over. But yeah. no, otherwise yeah. I don't drink every I drink day. Every single day. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I give a, every time someone visits me, I give them I mean, like was, two or three bottles kid? of whiskey. So, yeah, I do <laughs> give a lot kid? away. Also, what's that? He's yeah, almost right two. Around drinking. Give it, get, get in there. I know. Yeah, yeah. he is. Uh, he's getting to be a handful. You're getting to there. Where more drinking may be a thing. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll but get see, there. I also just like would rather go to a Mexican restaurant and have a huge margarita than drink my whiskey. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. and then you I'm get still to the drinking. It's just not. I'm not drinking out, all my like, whiskey. And throwing the menu off the table breaks a glass. You're like, oh, I'm so sorry. You're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Margaritas are magical though. They have like way more sugar than they should, so it like balances out the alcohol, and you just so, feel amazing um, afterwards. Yeah. Two margarita things. Number one, have you guys heard of Bartesian? Yep. I have one, but so I have the predecessor, the like Keurig one, and I've been waiting for that motherfucker to die so I can switch to the Bartesian. Really like unbelievable margaritas. I just ripped through bottles of Cuervo by making margaritas, and they have a spicy margarita now, which is even better. Oh, yeah. Like like my margarita experience for like the past like five years has been like middle of the summer right we decided to do some day drinking and fucking just get shit faced in the pool and like it's been like oh let's let's fill like a blender with ice cubes and do this and then it gets all like fucking warm and shit and like you drink like the last of it you're like ah, that, right like but like this like single serve margarita thing is unbelievable <laughs> right it's like you don't have like the pot of coffee problem second nice i was yeah. in new york mm. Not last night. I came home last night, but the night prior, I, I stayed the night. I was in New York for Monday and Tuesday, and they had a margarita at the hotel bar that was unfucking believable. It had pomegranate puree and like a spicy, like berry rim. I came in there all fucking 
mm-hmm. all my tough guy shit. I was like, makers meet, right? Drank a couple of those, had a plate of wings. Yeah. <laughs> And then I, so I was like, ah, you know what, let's, it would be courteous to try one of their signature drinks. This man looks like he's in the business of bartending. I'm sure he wants to make one, you know, not just pouring glass. Yeah, he wants to do like, a little more like, than that. What's good on here? He's like, ah, oh, this isn't that, the margarita. I'm like, you know what, let's try the margarita. I had fucking three of them. And then I was just <laughs> stumbling. I love margaritas so. so much. Do you guys like Mezcal? They are oh, tasty. Yeah. If you get a good one, yes, like that also. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. See, we can go down this path for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. I I do need to actually go and have some dinner with my children, though. I yeah. want to keep Same. So. Usually that's my line because I'm on the East Coast and Chuck and is now not. I'm here. But Chuck is and over here. So, yeah. it's. Uh, is there anything you want to mention before we end, Ken? Do I have anything I want to plug or mention? I'm trying to think if like, any of my friends like have any things, like startups or anything, or bullshit, I should say. Anything. No. I don't think so. I don't think I'm plugging anything. I think that uh, if you're going to drink water, it should be Topo mm. Chico. There you go. This Hell episode yeah. is brought to you by Topo Chico and React Miami, where if you use the code Whiskey Web Miami, no. Ken will buy you a shot. That's actually what it's good for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it is. No, no discount. Before we get no discount. Can, guys, you drinks when you're there. Miami, sorry, that's really funny. <laughs> We're talking like the order of like three to four minutes, not even. Yes. Yeah. So... Last right. bad sure. Miami. Yeah. I, I, I guess the people, a lot of people got there like the day before or something. Right. They, and I, I, I roll in. It's like midday. And I get to like the hotel yeah. where all the speakers are staying. And there's like these little couches and shit. And like I knew exactly, like immediately, that these were my people because they're all sitting there clothed in with laptops and backpacks everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, they're, they're drinking lightly. And I was like, guys, it's time to drink heavily. So I roll up and <laughs> proceed to drink heavily. Get some of them to go in the hot tub. Da, da, we're in the hot tub. We're drinking and having a good time and everything like that. So, you know, it, it's it's like nearing the time when everybody's going to go get ready for the speaker dinner and everything. So I'm like, all right, all right I'm going to hit my room. I'm going to hit you guys up in a little bit. See you over there. Get back to my room. And, you know, I did that thing. Like when you get back to your room, when you're in there, you're like, whew. Right, like come in with my bag, put all my shit away. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna kind of drunk and shit, so I'm just gonna lay down for a second, right? Wake up like one in the morning. <laughs> I have like fucking like 36 missed calls. Oh. <laughs> my wife is like, all these text messages. Like it goes from like, are you okay? I'm worried. Are you, do you like get fucking arrested or something? Da, 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 da. And then it like shifts to anger. Fuck you, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I call her up. I'm like, I'm like, hey. I'm like, I'm like, she I'm got like, over that 80%. I fell asleep. She's like, you fucking did it. I'm like, I know, no, I know, no. I just like, I was drinking at the pool and just came up and fell asleep. And it was like, this was like, you know, midnight, one in the morning. Yeah. So like, I hang up with her, went and took a shower and fucking went out and got it, boy. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. my gosh. I hope you guys are ready to. Nice. You're committed to the cause. You know, even if you pass out from day drinking, like, you need to wake up at like one in the morning and. Yeah. Ride the lion. Yeah. I'm going to prepare by just drinking all day mm-hmm. for like the week prior. And yeah. You I'll be ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got the proper tolerance. Robbie's going to have to get on it. I mean, you yeah. have my phone number, so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably see you at Dax's house. I'm yeah. Guessing. I never shit yeah. at anybody's house, but I'm probably, yeah. I'm going to shit at Dax's, I think. <laughs> even, even if I don't have to, I'm going to tell him I'm sitting there for like 10 minutes and then tell him that I did. Yeah. Just because. Yeah. Make it happen. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. this will be the litmus test of whether he listens mm-hmm. or not. So it'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Did you make it yeah. to the end, bro? Oh, it? you would have known this was coming. Mm. Guess Sorry, not. Bud. Yeah. New house too. <laughs> yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Broken in, bro. Yeah. I Which broke is the like shit feet in the other. I don't know what to like glean from Twitter, but it's just uh, like, it sounds like he walked down the street with his couch and like moved into his house. I want to find out more. Directly house. Yep. Yeah, like that seems insane. I mean, I, he's but, not okay. buying them. I'm sure there's a reason. So I think it's like a rental situation. So it's like it's plausible that the same person owns the. Oh, you know, it's just like slightly better. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I'm not tapped in. Yeah, Miami we'll, we'll find out. Market. Why don't you fellas go eat some fucking food with your kids? I'm gonna go do the same. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Later, yeah. We will. 
All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks yeah. again. Peace. Ciao.